this is the noob here and for this video I'm just going to do a comparison of um, a demo I converted from SDL basic to RC basic just to uh, show um, similarities and differences uh, between the two languages so first um, it's, this is a demo that actually comes with the SDL basic source code um, and I'm not claiming I originally wrote this uh, info on well I'm assuming this was I don't know who wrote this I'm assuming it was B. Roby um, I, I don't know what his name actually stands for um, it doesn't have any info on who actually wrote it so I, I can't give credit to whoever wrote this demo but um, if you um, whoever wrote this demo if you, you want to see this video and you, you know, want to be credited uh, just let uh, send me a message with you know, your name or just post it in the comments um, so in this demo um, uh, it's, it's basically using the SDL basics Bob system to create um, a number of like objects which uh, Bob is a, a blitter object and um, as I really don't know too much I mean I um, actually I think the differences between Bob's and sprites and SDL basic if I I haven't messed with SDL basic in a long time but I think the differences between Bob's and sprites is that Bob's are um, I believe attached to um, a screen which um, SDL basics screens are pretty much the they they are pretty much the exact same thing as RC basics canvases. I chose canvas because it just makes more sense. Um, so um, a bob is attached to a specific screen, and um, I believe a sprite is not attached to a specific screen. So if a sprite will just float over the window. It's not really attached to any screen particular, so it just it, it's drawn over everything. Um, I could be wrong about that though, but um, and if I'm wrong, somebody please correct me, and um, I will add some corrections to this video. Um, so I'm gonna run this, and like it starts off with one bob being drawn on the screen, and if you press the one key. Like you know, each time you press it, it'll start adding more bobs. Like you can hold it to press and you know, add a lot of them. Or I'm just gonna keep on pressing one individually because it looks kind of cooler. Like with each one getting added individually rather than holding it because it just looks like one giant image that way. Um, and it, you can go up to 1,024. And I, you know, heck, I'm gonna hold this and see get up to 1,024 real fast. Excellent. Yeah, I'll hold it. Um, and it'll go up to 1024, and that's the max amount of bobs that uh, you can have um, in an SDL basic program, which you know doesn't seem like a lot to some people, maybe, but it's, it's actually way more than you will probably ever need um, if you're like you know a really you know just uh, creative you know graphics programmer there's all kinds of tricks to you know do all kinds of cool stuff but this is like that demo running with all the bobs on screen and this is an SDL basic um, RC basic uh, I'm gonna show you that program now RC basic does not have a bob system so um, to do I to do a line by line conversion from SDL basic to RC basic I create. I basically tried to create um, the parts of the Bob system that SDL Basic uses in RC Basic. So the SDL Basic functions like delete Bob, fr Bob, live Bob, all the other stuff are functions I, I created in RC Basic so that I could pretty much do it like as a line by line conversion. Um, and the rest of this is pretty much a line by line conversion, changing things like obviously a uh, like I said, uh, RC Basics, uh, well, SDL Basics Canvas, I mean, uh, SDL Basics screens are RC Basics Canvas. So when you see a uh, canvas open, that was probably a screen open in SDL Basic. Or actually, no, SDL Basic didn't even use multiple screens for this. Um, 
I, I, I had to use multiple screens in RC Basic though because of differences in the way our graphics libraries work. In RC Basic, you cannot draw anything on the screen unless you have at least one canvas. SDO Basic has a direct to screen drawing functions and stuff like that. Um, and um, in case anybody asks, no, I don't plan on doing a direct to screen you know drawing functions inside of RC basic because it's just not how the graphic library I built was designed to work um, but it um, like this is my code I converted from the SDL basic code like I said I made the Bob functions in uh, RC basic um, and I created um, for Bob's I created um, where is it I created um, a bunch of arrays to represent the bobs, like the bobs X and Y positions. Uh, this array holds all the images, and this array holds um, the oh, whether the bob is a uh, live or not. So it basically, like you know, used for Boolean comparison and stuff like that. I'm not. I'm going to post this code on the SDL basic forum and I will also repost this code on RC basic forum if anybody who's watching this actually wants to check it out but here is the RC basic version of that same program and we start out with one object being drawn just like the SDL basic and you can like you know add one just by pressing one repeatedly or holding it just like SDO basic and I'm just going to hold it for from get up a little bit I'm going to try to make it like look kind of like similar to what SDO basics output was looking like but it'll go up to 1024 just like SDO basics um, version of this did and I'm not doing this to like compare and contrast the languages and like determine which one's better because honestly my language was inspired heavily by SDL basic but it's not designed to compete with SDL basic by any means SDL basic is like for what it is like an interpreted language that allows you to quickly like you know prototype or even develop full-blown like uh, graphics applications like you know, it does that really well uh, SDL Basic and RC Basic differ in that uh, RC Basic is uh, well, SDL Basic is a source code interpreter. I'm not too sure about how the internals of SDL Basic work because I never actually really like took the time to go through its source code. But um, from what I can see, it looks like it uh, it reads the source code and then like executes it on the fly. RC Basic does not work that way. Um, RC Basic has to compile a program to um, a .cbc file. Well, and then CBC file, I called it .cbc file because it stands for compiled bytecode. And um, it's basically kind of like, you know, think like, you know, a java.class file or whatever. It's, it's a file that's run by a virtual machine. So RC Basic code is not actually executed from source like SDO Basics is. And the differences in that become apparent with larger programs where if you hit um, um, the run button for RC basic program it's you know like you know gotten pretty up there and sort like lines and stuff it's gonna take a while for that program to start simply because um, it has to compile the program first and the larger the program is the longer it's gonna take to compile whereas SDL basic doesn't have that like time because it it can start reading the source right away and start executing the program right away um, the differences might be in um, speed although SDL basics interpreter is pretty fast so uh, you know it just out of interest one day I'm, I might just do a speed comparison between the two but like I said um, I I'm not doing I, I, I don't like you know develop RC basic to compete with SDL basic or for that matter any other dialect of basic um, it's just something I do really for fun and it's for something it's, it, uh, it's, it's just something different um, but that's the uh, RC basic version of that program um, it's a pretty short video I'm gonna end this here um, 
if you want to check out uh, uh, like if you want to test out RC basic or try it out for yourself uh, go to rcbasic.com um, and free like RC basics free and open source software source codes available from the web page too um, and that's it um, also I'll give a plug to SDL basic too since I was using it in this video SDL basics website I believe is uh, it's this um, SDL basic alter I'll put a link to SDL basics website in the description too um, and that's it I will see you later